Man. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shoe filling in for Tom O'Brien. This, of course, is the Tom O'Brien Show. Uh, we're going to have a good show today. You guys, why don't you give us a call? Just, you send me an email at jacob at tfnn.com if you don't want to call. We love hearing from you guys. You know, we had uh, a caller yesterday with some pretty good uh, questions. We're going to take a look at that a little bit today as well. Um, Let's take a look at where we're at, right? So we're still testing kind of the highs for today. At least we're looking at the E-mini right now on, you know, lower volume again, right? And that's kind of be expected. Of course, this is a big rally up from an oversold market. Sometimes when that occurs, you can kind of get a little bit of uh, a fervor in buying. And, and we might see maybe a trickle back down uh, at least the opening session next week. Um, again, testing those highs uh, with lighter volume of the past few days. Um, sometimes that can set up, you know, kind of a bearish signal in a sense. We might be going sideways here for a little bit. Uh, of course, you know, what really happens is, what really matters is what happens in September, right? If we do get that interest rate cut, I think this market is gonna continue to go, right? We might get some consolidation until that point, um, but that's a really big fundamental driver. Uh, of course, you know, if something else happens that's bad and for whatever reason we don't get that interest rate, of course, that's also pretty uh, tough for the market. But a lot of people are already betting on that. Of course, you have a lot of short interest out open uh, on the dollar as well. Of course, that's uh, indicating that a lot of people are believing that we're going to get that interest rate. And it seems uh, that we're going to get that decrease as well. The Fed seems not to be, uh, you know, there's been a lot of calls of people uh, saying that we should have a higher than just what, like a 25 basis point interest rate cut uh, the the first round, but it doesn't seem like the Fed wants to do that. Again, I think they are uh, being pretty cautious with this. Let's see the spies up about 0.33%, the Russell off about 0.41%, uh, the NQs as well. Again, we're kind of testing this all on lower volume. You had some uh, move up here overnight, kind of just kind of a sideways move, crack down a little bit on the open, and then just really get a sideways pattern you know, around lunchtime, we get that nice pop up and then we're coming back down again. Uh, I want to say too, this morning, I wasn't looking at the uh, the markets per se because I was getting everyone in and ready uh, for Larry Pesavento's live trading Fridays. We had another uh, really stellar session. And what's perfect, let's say you're, you know, you haven't gotten in on this yet, right? You've been kind of thinking around, it's like, ah, I don't know if I want to do that. You know, you get two trading sessions, okay? He does this the second and fourth Friday of every month, okay, it's a really good deal. And what's even better, right, if, if, you, if you haven't joined yet, we've been getting so good at understanding how this needs to run. There's no flaws. It's seamless integration, getting you into the den. Uh, Larry knows the best way to do this kind of now. He's been doing a fantastic job. You know, so I really recommend getting in there, um, at least just trying it out for one month, uh, because it's really fantastic, you know. I learned a lot from Larry with it. Again, what, one of the really cool things about working here, right? I mean, I'm just, I have a traditional education in finance, and of course, we've done investments as well when I was in there, but, I, you know, that is so different than actually being in the world and trading, right? And uh, all my models that I learned and apply, those are all great, but but what is the market actually saying on a day-to-day -day basis? And that's where this technical analysis comes in, and it is fantastic, and I learn so much when I watch Larry. Guys, I really recommend checking that out. Let's take a look right now. You have the Dow Jones uh, flat currently. Gold staying pretty strong at that 2,468 and 20 cents. You have silver trading at 2756 and then copper at 399. Crude oil staying around that 75 to 76 area. You know, we have a lot of it for sure. I think you might be getting, you know, a few days here. Well, this is on the daily here. You get a pop up today. But We've been going up a little bit. Let's see on the month. Yeah, so I mean, you have this come down here, pushing off from 71.67. You had Trump speaking about that if he wins, he's going to replenish. If he wins, he's going to replenish uh, the petroleum reserves. This is obviously a little bit bullish for it as well, but we are just producing uh, so much oil. It is unreal. Let's take a look real quick. Well, hold on. Let's finish. You have Tesla doing not much today, kind of sideways, still below that 200 level. Still dynamics, a point, a down 0.62%. And that dollar staying uh, pretty sideways right now at that 103.13, kind of near the lower end of its trading pattern. But again, if we get that interest rate cut, you're going to have this uh, dive down against the other currencies. And uh, that explains why we have 
a lot of short interest out in the dollar right now. Uh, Meta up 1%. This is becoming a really, I mean, it, it's been a solid company for a long time, right? But it's just becoming really matured, and it's interesting to see that. Obviously, they've uh, recently issued a lot of corporate debt in the form of bonds, uh, which is nice. You're not diluting shareholder value. They can determine when they want to pay those bond backs, at what rate. Uh, it's very neat. And uh, I think another thing about that is it kind of explains or shows a little bit that they're really dedicated to pushing out their AI, to pushing out the metaverse. I mean, I think of... You know, what is that, the movie Back to the Future, right? When he's done playing Johnny B. Good and he's like, you're not get that, but your kids are going to love it. I think that's what the metaverse is going to be. But that's a long time out. But let's be real, they're the only company uh, really trying to do it, I would say, besides for Roblox. But that's a little bit more mature uh, from Meta's end. You have Disney just staying down in the dumps at 85.43. We were in the danger zone, at least in my portfolio with that. Not very happy about it. And Apple up one. 0.23%. Rivian's getting sold off today. I believe it was earlier. Yep, down 4.65%. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the next quarter. They can still get some purchases going through, and uh, they're going to be able to sell those cars at a uh, lesser loss, right? Their input costs are far better. They're finally reopening some of their factories. Uh, they did burn through a ton of cash April through June, about $1 billion. Uh, but hopefully this is not going to be an issue uh, for them for much longer, and they're still on track for profitability. I am seeing more Rivian ads than ever, okay? And you say, well, Jacob, that might be because you're researching it, you're Googling it, blah, blah, blah. These are on completely different Google accounts. It's nothing to do uh, with my prior search history. I am seeing a lot of advertisements for Rivian. That is a good thing. I see more people than ever driving these cars uh, it's interesting. I don't know. Do your due diligence if you ever want to get into something. But um, I might be saying this as cope as well uh, to hope that I make some money on my investment with it. Let's take a look at Intel. Speaking of things that got cracked, um, down 3.39%. Of course, they had massive issues uh, with Raptor Lakes. They were selling them overclocked and it was damaging uh, the silicon in them. You know, they might have some issues where they need. Uh, to call those back. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Now, they had something that came out. Well, we're going to the break. I'm going to get what they said because they released a statement on Raptor Lake. Uh, so hang right there and we'll be right back.